Forgive me. Please. Had I shot you, I would have felt terror. My name is Henrys. I am the chief psychologist of the Fairview Sanitarium. What's that? An asylum for the criminally insane. We're just up the road. Oh, wow, well, that's convenient. Mr. Uh, Hendricks. Uh -huh. Mr. Hendricks, do please come in. Come in and take off your wet things. Uh, yes, thank you. I'd like to. I'd like to have fun with everybody, please. I hope you will forgive my rather unconventional use of your window. No question. You saved his life. He saved your neck, you mean. All time, for his time. I want everyone to be back. Actually, I was afraid for the safety of all of you. What? What do you mean by that, Mr. Hendricks? I'm sorry to report that one of our patients of the sanitarium has escaped. I knew I felt something. Is he dangerous? He's extremely a complete maniac. Well, he'll feel right at home in this house. And homicidal. He's a real killer. You seen anyone around here since seven o'clock? Well, that's about the time we arrived. That explains, that explains what I felt. Oh, what do you mean? Well, actually, we've all been a little tensed up in this house tonight. What makes you think he's here? I didn't say he was here. I'm looking at all the houses in the general area. Have you some reason to imagine that he's close uh, to here? Or in this house? Well, he always tries to get into a house whenever he escapes. You mean he's escaped before? Yes, I think so. What do you use there, the honor system? His method is to get into a house and hide until everyone's gone to bed. What does he look like? Well, when he got out, he was wearing a long coat and a black slouch hat. He's not a young man, very little hair, sharp teeth and fingernails like Claws. <laughs> I think I took his daughter out once. He believes that he's a cat. A cat? cat? Nobody believes he's a cat. Nobody in his right mind. Yeah, is his last name West by any chance? I do assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that he is not in his right mind and that he indeed believes himself a cat. Mr. Hendricks, is this some sort of joke? No, no. In fact, he kills his victims by slowly ripping them apart. Good night. May I leave? It's been a stimulant. That could be a most unwise move. I'm asking everyone in the area to lock themselves in until morning. That's ridiculous! Well, I don't think you've much choice. And how do you propose we should apprehend this homicidal animal? Do you have an extra weapon? No. Weapons can be as dangerous as maniacs. And anyway, I hope to get him alive. Why? As long as you get him. <laughs> well, I've been studying him. There's a seminar this spring, and I was rather hoping to give a paper on his behavior. Everybody lie down. Don't anybody move. Cicely, for God's sake. Oh, thank God it's you. You nearly got shot. Some cat. This is Mr. Hendricks, who is bringing some important news to everyone living in the area. What is it? I'm not here to alarm you. Certainly not. There's absolutely no cause for alarm. It's just a homicidal maniac who thinks he's a cat got loose. He's not dangerous, he just tears his friends apart. Slowly, that's all. But don't get upset. Ah! They strap him down in a rubber room. And a few times a year, he gets out. Nothing serious. They have a collection of incompetents over there. And this is the chief incompetent, who should be investigated by the State Board of Medical Inquiry. Allowing a homicidal maniac to escape is criminal negligence. A killer is on the loose and you're responsible. There are many killers on this sub. Very often it is not clear precisely who is responsible. Mr. Hendricks, I'm sure you'd like to know who you are speaking to. I am Alison Crosby, the West family lawyer. This is... Harry Blunt. How do you do? How do you know so much about the State Board of Medical Inquiry? Well, I used to practice medicine. Ah, in which branch of medicine used you to practice? Surgery. Surgery. That's interesting. Surgery. Hmm, very interesting. My patient cuts with his hands, or whatever he can find. You cut with a scalpel. The results are very different, to be sure, but who is to say that the urge is not the same? Your man has an uncontrollable aggressivity. Unlike you when we met in the hall. Why'd you stop operating? He went into somebody's brain and then ripped them apart, like your cat, only this was on the operating table. Shut up! Uh, 
This is Charlie Wilder, of whom I'm sure you've heard. Ah, oh, the famous hero. Glad to know you. All right. Lily White, tell them how many brains you got into with your bomb. I lost an older brother at the war. I believe we all owe Mr. Wilder some measure of gratitude for what he accomplished on behalf of us all. Thank you. But uh, wasn't it Bertrand Russell who asked, what is a killer but a hero out of uniform? Do you, do you want any help? He thinks it's a reward. <laughs> Thank you, no. There are several of us out, and the weather's on our side. Oh, what's on our side, Mr. Hendricks? My entire staff, to whom I've issued orders to shoot on sight. Huh? Although I hope it's not necessary. What else can you do with a wounded animal? You're Susan Silsby, aren't you? A classmate of mine almost broke your record in Kenya last summer. He always admired your courage. He wouldn't be very pleased with me tonight. Anyway, I'm not a killer. I'm a sportswoman. That's not what the tigers say. Oh, but my dear sir, I must tell you that I've never agreed with those who couldn't see the difference. Uh, this is Miss Cecily Yan. Yeah. How do you do? Are you going to stay with us all night? I wish I could. But there's a lot of ground to cover, so to speak. Uh, Miss Young, do forgive me, but a colleague of mine testified in a fascinating case in London involving... You kill or be killed, Dr. Freud? What? What are you talking about? I don't mind, Susan. I was the girl who was dancing at the Cozy Club in London, who the manager doped and tried to attack in his office. Having no other course of action open to me to prevent him from accomplishing his unspeakable intentions and seeing his gun on the desk, I gave it to him, right in the face. Self-preservation is the first rule, certainly. Uh... How many times? Six. As I recall, the condition of the body was somewhat mutilated when they found it. After the shots, I fainted. I never remembered anything after that. Oh, understandable, sir. That's well now. And uh, what about Mr. Paul Jones? He's a songwriter from the United States. How do you do? Fine, thank you. Well, very often we know a man by his creative efforts. What's your latest work? A love song. It's called, um, You Scratch My Back and, and I'll Scratch your, Yours. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, look, before you start, let, let me tell you. I, uh, I used to put red ants in with black ants and, uh, oh, yes, once I, uh, I killed a skunk on the Taconic State Parkway. But um, if your, your cat decides to show up, don't count on me, because it was all a long time ago, and I've hung my guns up for good. Oh, but I can count on you, Mr. Jones. From what I hear on the radio, songwriters are the worst killers in society. What about Mrs. Allison Crosby? Mrs. Crosby. You're a lawyer. And all lawyers are sharks. And sharks are the worst killers and the most bloodthirsty creatures in nature. Well, I really shouldn't stay any longer. Would you mind getting my coat for me, please? What do we do if the cat gets in? He can have our room. I hope he's paper trained. We'll hang on to him, don't worry. I just pray he doesn't hang on to you. Twice this year I've had to shoot him. What? Once here, and once here. That seems a little excessive. Regardless, the last time he was captured, he succeeded in getting his hands on... me. It took three good men to get him off. You will take my advice and avoid socializing with him at all costs. Whatever you say. There's a good chance that he's looking to get in out of the weather. If he hasn't already. So I must ask each one of you again. 
not to go out before morning. And be sure to lock all outside windows and door. Get him, I'll let you know. Thank you. So we're prisoners in here? Well, I prefer to think that he is the prisoner out there. Uh, would you please tell anyone else in the house about the situation? Ladies and gentlemen, whatever the purpose of your gathering, I hope that this won't prove too much of a disturbing element. I wish you all a good night. Remember, as Bismarck said, a little caution outflanks a large cavalry. Good night.